Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to create an entirely custom product page layout using Breakdance. So this is the default product page layout using Breakdance. I haven't actually customized anything yet. So let's go ahead and go into Breakdance and make a custom one. So I'll go into the WordPress admin panel. I will go to Breakdance, Templates, and here I'm going to add a template that applies to all of my WooCommerce products. So I will just click Add Template and then choose Single Product. Now this is going to apply to every single WooCommerce product on my site, all of them. But if I only want to apply this custom layout to certain products, I can click Settings and then I can go under Conditions and I can add a condition and I can choose Product Is and then I can choose the specific products I want this template to apply to. But I want this template to apply to all of my products, so I'm going to cancel this and let's go ahead and edit this template in Breakdance. So here I am inside of Breakdance and I'm going to add a product builder to my page. Product builder is the element we use to create custom product page layouts using Breakdance. So by default, the product builder is going to come with product title, images, price, description, cart button and associated form fields, product tabs. Uh, but if you want to customize this, you could delete everything in here and start fresh. So let's do that. Let's open up the structure panel and let's delete everything inside the product builder and let's create an entirely custom layout. So I want to start with two columns. So I'm just going to go to add, choose columns, and I'm going to choose two columns. And then I'm going to go to add and I'm going to find my product images and I'm going to put this in the right column. If you go to the product builder element, you will see all the available elements that you can put inside the product builder. So let's go ahead and add in a product title. And then below that product title, let's go back to the product title and add in a product excerpt. And then below that excerpt, let's add in the product price. So we can go back to product builder, or we could just go to the ad panel and search there. Let's drag in the product price. And let's add in a add to cart button. So let's go to the product cart, the uh, product builder and drag in a product cart button. And let's put some spacing on these elements. So I'll add some spacing to the title and the description and the price. And let's add product tabs below these columns. So I will just search for tabs and drag the product tabs in below the columns. Now, if you want to customize the design of any of these elements, you can do so. You just click on the element and let's say I want to change the styles of this button, for example. I would go to button and I could change the background color. I could change the uh, corner radius. I could do any number of things to it. However, I recommend using the global styles as much as possible to customize your WooCommerce website because Breakdance's global styles are going to affect all of Breakdance's WooCommerce elements. So if I go into global settings and then I go to WooCommerce, I go to colors, let's say I want to set this button to purple. Well, I probably want all the primary buttons on my website to be purple. I probably want my primary color to be purple. So it's best to just set brand color to purple and that's going to affect the cart button, the product tab titles, uh, links on your site, other buttons. And then if you want to make more granular customizations, that's when to use the element controls. For example, let's say I want to customize this sale badge a little bit. Well, the global styles give me some sale badge controls, but not enough to really get it exactly how I want. That's when I'll go into product images, go to sale badge, and then I have all of the controls I can need to customize that. Another example, let's say I wanted to customize these tabs. Well, I got what I could with the global settings. I set the color the way I wanted to, but let's say I want to customize the layout of these tabs themselves. Let's go over to the tabs element, go to tabs, and here I could choose, for example, a bar style for the tabs, for example, like this, or I could choose a pill style for the tabs, and then I could customize things that are more granular and more specific than what I could achieve with just the global settings alone. Okay, that is how to do a custom product page using Breakdance. Go to the YouTube description for this video to find the link to the next video in this series where you'll learn how to do a completely custom cart page using Breakdance. This is Lewis from Breakdance and thank you very much for watching.